James Webb Space Telescope detects life-supporting molecules on exoplanet K218b. For centuries, humanity has looked to the stars with questions etched deep into our collective soul. Are we alone? Is Earth the only life-bearing oasis in the vast cosmic ocean, or are there others, hidden worlds orbiting distant suns, waiting to be discovered? Now, a revolutionary telescope has brought us closer than ever to answering those questions. The James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's most powerful observatory ever launched, is unraveling mysteries of the universe with unparalleled clarity. Recently, it turned its gaze to an exoplanet known as K218b, and what it found may forever change the way we view life beyond Earth. Nestled in the constellation Leo, about 120 light years away from Earth, K218b orbits a red dwarf star. At first glance, this may seem like just another entry in the growing catalog of over 5,000 exoplanets discovered so far. But K218b is different, very different. It's categorized as a Hycian world, a relatively new class of exoplanets with both hydrogen-rich atmospheres and potential global oceans beneath. These conditions could provide a unique cradle for life possibly very different from life as we know it. This planet is larger than Earth, about 2.6 times its diameter and nearly 8.6 times its mass, falling into a category scientists call super-Earths, or mini-Neptunes. For years, such planets posed a mystery. Were they simply scaled-down gas giants, or could they possess rocky surfaces and atmospheres capable of supporting life? In the case of K218b, Recent findings suggest the latter may be true. Earlier observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed water vapor in K218b's atmosphere, an incredible discovery on its own. But the James Webb Space Telescope took things even further. Utilizing its near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, NIRISS, JWST detected something extraordinary the spectral fingerprints of carbon-bearing molecules such as methane and carbon dioxide. This combination hints at the possibility of a carbon cycle, perhaps even biological activity beneath the planet's thick atmospheric veil. Among the most exciting revelations was the potential detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a compound that, on Earth, is almost exclusively produced by life, particularly phytoplankton in our oceans. The presence of DMS could signal biological processes at work, although scientists are careful to emphasize that these are still preliminary signals requiring further confirmation. Nevertheless, its detection has sent ripples through the astrobiological community. To put this in perspective, DMS is not a molecule you'd expect to find floating in an alien atmosphere unless something, perhaps even some form of life, was creating it. While the Webb telescope isn't directly photographing ocean waves or alien forests, the detection of these gases is akin to seeing shadows dance behind a curtain. We can't yet see the cause, but we're beginning to sense that something is there. What makes K218b even more intriguing is its location within the habitable zone of its parent star, the region where temperatures could allow for liquid water to exist. Though red dwarfs are smaller and cooler than our sun, they are notoriously volatile, often emitting intense radiation flares. Yet, if K218b's atmosphere is thick enough, it might shield the surface or subsurface oceans from harmful radiation. This introduces an entirely new framework for evaluating the habitability of planets orbiting red dwarfs, which are the most common type of star in the Milky Way. The idea of a Hycian world, a planet with vast oceans covered in a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, offers a compelling alternative to Earth-like habitability. In fact, these worlds might be more numerous and stable over long periods of time than rocky planets like Earth. The hydrogen atmosphere increases greenhouse warming, potentially allowing life-supporting conditions even at greater distances from a star. So how did scientists even identify these chemicals from over 100 trillion kilometers away? This is where JWST's advanced infrared spectroscopy comes into play. As K218b passes in front of its host star from our perspective, starlight filters through its atmosphere. Molecules in the atmosphere absorb specific wavelengths of light, leaving behind unique patterns known as absorption spectra. By studying these patterns, scientists can identify which gases are present, like a cosmic fingerprint. 
This powerful technique is revolutionizing our ability to study exoplanet atmospheres. Before JWST, most observations were restricted to only a handful of wavelengths. Now, entire molecular profiles are coming into focus. For the first time, we are peering into alien skies and beginning to understand their chemical makeup. But why does the detection of methane and carbon dioxide matter so much? On Earth, these gases are often tied to biological processes. Methane, for example, is produced by microbes and decaying organic material. In combination with carbon dioxide, their presence suggests potential sources of organic carbon, and perhaps even metabolic processes. While these gases can also be produced abiotically through geological activity, the ratios observed in K218b's atmosphere strongly suggest a more complex origin. Still, we must be cautious. The excitement is tempered with the need for rigorous scientific validation. It will take multiple observations and more data to confirm the presence of DMS and to rule out non-biological explanations for the chemical signals. Future JWST observations are already scheduled to further analyze K218b's atmosphere, refine our models, and confirm these groundbreaking results. And yet, even without confirmation of life, K218b has opened a new chapter in exoplanetary science. It's a stark reminder that we are just beginning to scratch the surface of what's out there. Just a decade ago, we didn't even know Hycean worlds existed. Now, one of them is offering potential signs of habitability. This isn't just about one planet. K218b is a harbinger. It suggests that life-supporting conditions may exist in forms and places we previously overlooked. Red dwarf systems, long considered too unstable, may be teeming with planets where life could thrive under thick atmospheres and hidden oceans. Moreover, the success of JWST in probing the atmospheres of distant worlds confirms that we have officially entered a new era, the age of atmospheric biosignature detection. This is no longer science fiction. We're beginning to detect life-supporting chemistry on worlds beyond our solar system. We're learning how to read the chemical whispers of distant atmospheres. And we're finding that those whispers might be saying, you're not alone. What comes next could be even more astounding. As JWST continues its mission, it will analyze dozens, perhaps hundreds, of exoplanets. It will look for molecules like water, methane, ozone, nitrogen, and maybe even chlorophyll-related compounds. Each of these has a story to tell about its host planet. At the same time, scientists are refining the models of what alien life might look like. Would it resemble Earth's microbial life? Or would it be something stranger, adapted to environments we'd find inhospitable? Could these worlds harbor intelligent life that evolved under infrared light instead of our familiar yellow sun? We must also prepare ourselves for surprises. Nature often defies our expectations. Some planets may seem barren but host life beneath icy crusts. Others may exhibit bizarre chemistry we've never encountered before. Every new discovery expands our understanding of the cosmos and of life itself. As we continue this grand journey, one thing is certain. The James Webb Space Telescope has already begun to transform the unknown into the knowable. K218b, with its hazy hydrogen skies and tantalizing molecules, is our first real clue that life, life beyond Earth, might be detectable, observable, and perhaps even common in the universe. Stay curious, because this is just the beginning. At Discovery at 2.0, we'll keep our eyes on the stars, and bring you every revelation, every wonder, and every question that arises from the cosmos. Until next time, keep exploring, because the universe is far more alive than we ever dared imagine.